Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm holding the cutting boards. This video marks the second attempt of me trying to put finishing oil onto the cutting boards. Uh, we know what happened previously, but this is a fresh start. I will begin with the three smallest boards because they fit nicely into my tub on a single level, as you can see. Uh, but before I get to the oiling, I will have to do some sanding, so I will see you in a bit. So now it's time to take the measurements of each of the three boards before and after and I'm gonna use this little shtick to, to do that. So we have before, checkered one, checkered two and pure maple. So we can see this roughly weights 1.3 kilograms. 0 1.250 so not that much difference between the two uh, checkered pattern boards the maple feels a little heavier uh, 2.043 so after I'm done with the uh, uh, vacuum uh, finishing uh, we'll see if the weight has increased now let's go over to the uh, vacuum chamber section and uh, empty up the pails with oil and see how it all goes so here is the final tour of the improved process so we're looking into the bag and into the uh, vacuum chamber the tub is in uh, and I have built these two bridges one here down further below uh, and those would help keep the board submerged now in my previous attempt I had blocks of wood that I adjusted by hand and hoped that when I closed the lid you know they all stayed in place obviously they didn't uh, but now these are securely fastened and it should work as a charm so I'm just about to uh, release the valve and let all the air get sucked out of the bag I'm going to keep the vacuum in for about two hours or so uh, and then I'm going to release the vacuum and let all the air pressure go in and push oil inside the wood. I'm a little bit nervous considering what happened the last time but given the success of the dry run I am confident that this will succeed but we'll find out in about five or six hours. So it will be about two hours under vacuum and about three to four hours under re regular air pressure and then it will be time to switch to another board. So what you're gonna see in this video is just the beginning three. Here we are, we have the uh, boards rested overnight. And what I'm gonna do is take a quick wipe down to remove any excess oil. Uh, this infusion method really changes the way the uh, wood looks. You can see it's a lot darker, the cherry is a lot darker and the maple as well is a lot darker as well. Uh, and it really is portraying the beauty of the color inside the wood. And let's uh, take the measurements now. This is one of the uh, checkered board cutting boards as we can all see and weight is roughly 1.8 kilograms. We started with 1.2 and now it's 1.8. So there is about 600 grams of tongue oil inside the wood. Uh, 
and let's put it back in let's take the middle one and check that one as well again a quick wipe the color is just gorgeous and if we measure this one again roughly 1.8 kilograms so again roughly 600 grams of tang oil inside the wood and let's uh, check the maple Now obviously there's going to be a big difference between the two kinds of boards because the end grain on the maple is right here versus the checkered board the end grain is on top and the bottom so there is a lot more that is absorbed by the the checkered board patterns so but let's see the maple we are at 2.3 kilograms so roughly 300 grams of tongue oil inside and if you're wondering what uh, 600 and 300 grams of tang oil looks like I'm gonna pick out the bottle um, <laughs> obviously there is a uh, plenty of things stuck to it but basically this bottle is roughly 650 grams of oil and now that doesn't include the weight of the bottle so this much of oil is inside the checkered board cutting boards and half of that is in the maple before we end, just a quick comparison between unfinished board and a finished board. You can see the depth of color on the finished board. And now that you've seen the method to my madness, it's time to get working on the remaining 13 boards that I have. They'll be done individually, so I better get to it. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video uploads. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.